Websites use browser cookies for all kinds of reasons, such as remembering a user's session state, curating personalized content, and measuring site analytics. But consent is key. Some users are okay with sites tracking only certain things or using selective cookies. Historically, consent has been an all or nothing, but now, with granular consent, you can break your cookies up without turning them into crumbs. So today, I'm going to show you how to implement granular consent on your AMP pages. We'll start by importing the script tag for the AMP consent component into the head of my document. Then I'll place an AMP consent element in my page. It contains an empty div where I'll define my consent dialog. But first, I'll configure AMP consent's behavior by defining a JSON configuration object. I'll start with the consent instance ID, then set consent required to true, and then point prompt UI at the empty div. And look at that, my page is already displaying the empty div. This is where I'll set up the UI that allows my users to give consent. In this example, I'll split my consent into three categories, marketing, conversion, and analytics. A developer could then label certain functionalities or elements to only load if the user consents to specific purposes. Such as accepting analytics, you could then enable analytics cookies or the AMP analytics component. For our demo today, I'll show, or hide, an AMP fit text element based on each category's consent, just so we can see how it works. My AMP fit text elements are already set up in my demo div. They all use the data block on consent purposes attribute, which blocks the element from rendering until consent is granted for each purposes listed in the attributes value. So next, I need to present my users with their consent options. I've added in some text that explains that we're asking for permissions, and then presented them with the three choices as checkboxes. Each checkbox is listening for the change event, meaning it will trigger a defined action when the user checks or unchecks a box. Then I refer to the AMP consent element by its ID, site consent, and then call the set purpose action. Inside the set purpose action, I place the purpose each checkbox relates to. This action sets that purpose to true when the user checks a box, or false when they uncheck that box. The set purpose action temporarily stores the user's choice, but I still need to call AMP consent's accept action to process the user's consent. Additionally, I need to provide my users with the option to dismiss these choices. I'll add in two buttons, save and dismiss. On the save button, I've defined the accept action and added the optional purpose consent default argument and set it to false. This just sets any unchecked granular consent options to false. The dismiss button just dismisses the UI without granting or denying permissions. This allows me to prompt my users again when they return to my page or reload it. Next, I'll check the box for marketing cookies and analytics, then click save. Awesome, that works. I've successfully allowed my users to grant consent on a granular level. But there's just a few more things I'd like to improve. I'll start by adding a prompt dialog. This allows my users to adjust their permissions if they change their mind. I'll paste in my reprompt element and then add post prompt UI to my AMP consent configuration. Next, I notice it's a bit hard to read my consent options with the text of the page behind it. So I'll add a UI configuration to my AMP consent. This creates a light box type effect that grays out the background. Finally, I really want my users to make a choice for analytics and marketing cookies. So I'll add the optional purpose consent required in my configuration. This means the consent dialog will appear every time the user visits the page until they've made a choice. And well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you know what you want to see in future episodes, drop suggestions in the comments below.